photos that Jensen showed and the ones that I'm about to show you, keep in mind those are all run on my partner systems, the ones you came you saw when you came in. Um, all that HD content, all that great rendering, and they're also done in well under a watt. So as you're watching all kinds of interesting things at Computex here this week, try to find some other things that look like that, and and uh, you won't see them. You also won't see them running in that power envelope. So we think that's a pretty unique thing that will enable this next revolution. So the expectations of these devices is pretty simple. It's got to have an uncompromised internet experience. Whether it be Facebook, Facebook is a relatively simple looking page, but it's rather complex. It's got a bunch of videos, got a bunch of flash. Uh, whether it be uh, YouTube, in the last year, the number of YouTube viewings has gone up about 300%, and it's on a pretty steep curve to continue to climb. It's also moving to HD, and the Tegra platform is the only platform capable of going off and viewing that HD content. Uh, Hulu is a very popular uh, video site in North America. Uh, I point it out because it also shows the difference in use cases people are having on these devices. The average person that goes to that website stays on that website and watches it for over 30 minutes. And the number of people doing that has gone up by 500% in the last year. So that's an awful lot of eyeballs watching great video content for a long period of time. And then finally, Flash. Uh, as we'll see later, Flash is a lot of the internet now, HD and Flash. So we'll show you some demos that show really how you can do some amazing things with a Tegra-based platform and Flash. But before we do that, we need to dispel a little rumor here. So there's some people and companies that believe that the definition of marketing is if you say something enough times, even if it's not the case, it becomes true. And that's not the case. So what we're going to do is we'll show you here. Uh, this was a, uh, a quote from uh, Mr. Maloney at Intel. He talked about um, uh, the fact that, that video would not run on a device if it had a GPU. You need to, to have an x86 architecture. So let's see uh, his video, and then let's look at mine. Eight seconds left in the game. I'm just going to play both of the, the systems here at the same time, and you can see the experience difference. So I started on the netbook, and I started over here on the notebook. And you can see just the... Uh, over here, you see Ray Allen take that three-point shot, and you just totally missed it over here. So you have a much better experience. And if you go go full screen on this, it's kind of hard to see in that window. You can see that this is just a full, rich experience, and you this is something that people are going to expect. Uh, you think, well, hey, we could fix that. Uh, you know, video thing. If you slap slap a graphics chip in it, no. Uh, yes, if you put a graphics chip in it, you'll increase the power consumption of the thermal envelope. And you won't do anything at all on that video. Okay. So, so, uh, so I, I believe what you'll find is what he wanted to represent on the left was was something that didn't burn a lot of power, and what he wanted to represent on the right was something that burned a lot of power. So let's go off and see what we can do now with a Tegra-based platform, which has a GPU integrated in, obviously, on HD video. Okay, so it appears we have, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So it appears a GPU does an awful lot for HD video. That appears to be the best video you saw of the three that we showed. So, um, and again, that was done on one of our partner systems, and it was done at well under a watt, right? Probably a 12 or 14 megabit stream. So let's see what else we can do in these systems. Again, it's an uncompromised web experience. Let's go see what we've got next. So what we've got here is this is uh, this is the user interface that people will see when they get one of these devices. It'll be delivered by the uh, uh, by the telcos. They'll open it up and they'll say, "Here, Mr. Rayfield, here's your your uh, new web-based device." It'll pop up. They'll have a great user interface. There's a rail launcher that'll have all the most recent applications that are loaded on it. 
And uh, this is uh, this is the the uh, CE6 kernel. It's a very robust kernel from Microsoft. It shipped you know billions of copies. Um, so what they'll do is they'll pull up and they'll decide, okay, I want to go to a web page. So you pull up a web page, wherever you happen to be, local content. And you can go off and surf the web. Most of these web pages have flash video inside them, or there's flash renderings. As again, you can see there's no issue doing this. Again, we're well under a lot while doing this for the whole system. You might want to go off and look at uh, your picture that, um, that you've taken, you want to share when you're traveling. Go to a page like SmugMug or one of the local picture sharing sites. And then finally for Flash, so this is, uh, what we'll show is, is an application called Flash Earth. So uh, I did a, uh, a briefing the other day with one of the technology analysts, and uh, he wanted to call my bluff on Flash. So he said, well, if you can really do Flash, pull up Flash Earth. So here we are, running again on one of our partner's devices, and we're, we're uh, zooming out of, to show where we are. Here we are in Taiwan, and we'll zoom back in. pretty fluid. Again, well under a lot. So you can do these kinds of things for days on this device. Don't land us in the water, Stuart. Perfect. Okay. So you'll see, you know, people are going to want to do 3D navigation. They're going to want to do um, all of the uh, high definition web uh, services that we do now on their uh, on their full system. Okay, let's go to the next. So uh, we talked a little lot about being able to do the HD web, how Flash is so important. So we have partnered deeply with Adobe uh, for many years now. So what I'm going to do is uh, share with you sort of their views on the web and their views on the partnership with NVIDIA. Thanks, Jensen.